as you've heard, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Today, we are heading back into the bedroom that we opened up in the last episode to explore a bit and hopefully, of course, complete some more galaxies. I think we have at least a few more to find in today's episode, but let's get to it and see for ourselves. So we're right here at the Freeze Flame Galaxy as our next one. And I was a little curious, so I might open these up to see what else we have waiting for us. This is going to be the Dusty Dune Galaxy up next. Okay, sure. Um, we might save yeah, those two for the next episode, but for now we'll do Freeze Flame Galaxy. Hop into this world, looks like we have the mix up fire and ice. Seems pretty cool. Also, all sorts of different temperatures, but for the first star in Freeze Flame Galaxy, it'll be the frozen peak of Baron Burr. That sounds cool. So whenever there's a name we haven't quite recognized, it's almost always been a boss fight, so we'll see if that's the case for this one. Whoa, this looks so cool though. And there they are, Baron Burr. There's a, a lava planet in the distance too. I don't think we'll be going to that one for this, but. Whoa, it's so slippery. <laughs> Whoa, and I can ice skate too. That's awesome. Can I slam on these? I can't. So I don't know what the point of these are. I can't really do too much with them, but oh, we're just sort of ice skating around. This is so cool. Oh, and there's a penguin. Hey, old man. Are you practicing the skate too? Well, why don't you, we play a game? Can you catch me? I will try. Okay, off they go. Uh, I might just want to catch up with them over there. How could one penguin be so fast? I don't know, but hopefully we can catch you. Come on, almost there. So I can just sort of continually do it, and then boom, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you might have a chance. A small chance, maybe, but a chance. Whoa, so that'll give us a uh, launch star to go to. Let's just again sometime, I would love to. What's going on the other side of this? So far, it's just um, some coins to grab, which obviously isn't the most interesting thing, but if I could break one of these, it would be cool. There we go, to get some easy star bits and stuff but maybe not worth worrying about too much, you know? We got those couple of star bits. We will just skate over this way and launch over. So where are we off to? It's like a giant icy mountain ahead of us here. Whoa, we're sliding. <laughs> That's cool. That's giving me Mario 64 vibes, but there's a couple of Goombas waiting for us and we can knock them out. Whoa, no problem for the most part when we're ice skating around like this. So. It makes it a lot easier to deal with enemies. Gotcha. Pretty cool. So that is a Goomba down. I'll grab this coin. And then we'll try to get up to here, I guess. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's what I want to do. Whoa. Whoa, it's shivery. Okay. That is, that's such a weird effect. I guess I wasn't supposed to get up here just yet. So those coins are probably going to disappear. <laughs> Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'll hop off of you though. I do see a fling star over that way. So it seems like there's quite a few things to get to. Aha, that's going to make it much easier to grab those coins, which are now gone. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. Oh, can I just kick this thing away? It's gone. Huh. Weird enemy so far. There we go. I got it. I got it. And there's my health back too. So we saw this a few episodes ago. It is the Ice Mario Power Up, and with it, we can run on top the water and just sort of slide across it really easily. But where exactly do I want to go? I could go up here. Yeah, we might as well try. There we go. So now we're up this way. I can defeat some some Goombas pretty easily, and I can't really throw like ice fireballs if you know what I mean. Like I know with the Ice Mario and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, that is something you could actually do. But here it doesn't seem like it lets you do that. I guess there might not be a normal fire flower in this game. I thought there was other ways I could have gotten up. It looks like it, so we might have just found a little bit of a shortcut. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it too much then. If we get over here, there is actually a few question blocks to get. I'll get this one in just a moment if I can manage, because I wanna get that one up on the top. I've restarted the game since I last played, so I lost a bunch of lives, but it's okay. Doesn't seem like I usually need that many anyways. Watch the levels get super difficult now though, you never know. Well, we did just get a one-up, so that's also good. Okay, oh no, oh no. I, I do not want to get down there. Whoa, yeah, you small jumping. But this right here is what I need. So if we grab this, we should be able to get across the water without any issue. And then it's mostly focusing on getting up this thing. I don't know if we really, oh no, oh, we definitely do. Okay, that was a silly move. Whoops. There won't be much we can do until we can get up there, here, there you go. That wasn't so bad. Just had to do a nice long jump. 
Okay, yeah, you really didn't need Ice Mario for too much of that. And now we're, oh, well, never mind. I stand corrected. So we really do need Ice Mario, but I need to be a lot faster. But if I could just get rid of you, grab that extra health back from it. Get some extra star bits where we might need them. That might be you know, an extra step in the right direction. But I think long jumping is definitely the answer for that one. So we'll long jump over to this side. Get the ice flower power up and go again. See, just like before, what we wanna do. Oh no, ah, oh, darn, not quite. Come on, Mario. We don't have too much time here. Come on, go, go, go. I think I might still have to try this again because, oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Come on, no, <laughs> you're kidding me. Oh, that really was close. Okay, this time I did way better. I was able just to get up here, no problem. And oh, there they are, Baron Burr. They're not happy to see us, I don't think. Oh, but we can, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I did too soon. It's fine now. So how are we getting up there? Ooh, you know what? I think we're gonna get the power from over this way. I can see it, I can see it. Here we go, so looks like I chose the right way to go. Now that we're Ice Mario again, I wanna skate over this way as soon as possible and get up there and do whatever damage we can. Ow, rude. Jeez, how did that one hit me? Okay, here we come, here we come. Maybe you get back down here. Oh no, 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 come on. How do I damage them? I'm not really sure. This is where a fire flower would probably be more useful than an ice flower, right? Okay, so I'm back up here, you're gonna slam. Whoa, okay, I just spin you away. Okay, I see. That wasn't too bad. Not so happy about it, though. Okay, well, I'm still up here. What are you gonna do about it? There we go, there we go. Boom. Come on, another one, another one. Where are they going? We're just sort of kicking them around. Oh, that was much better. Oh, no, now it gets even crazier, though. Oh, I'm frozen. No. Okay, it's fine, though. It's fine. Just gotta get a little bit closer, and boom, we got him. That was such a weird fight, but once we were up there, we were just able to beat them up pretty easily. Defeat Baron Burr. Okay then, so yeah, let's get our power star, our first one of, the t of today, and also our first one of the Freeze Flame Galaxy. So that was a pretty uh, chilly first impression, I suppose. The Frozen Peak of Baron Burr and Freeze Flame Galaxy is our 50th, 50th power star, which is pretty cool. So we'll save our game and we'll try out the other stars there that'll be waiting for us. Okay, I'm jumping back in. And there's already a comet here? That's interesting. Usually the comets only show up when we complete the, the three stars. But we got the Cosmic Comet in orbit for the Freeze Flame Galaxy. What will it be then? Which star will it take up? I guess more specifically is what I mean. Here it comes, the Cosmic Comet is in orbit. And this will be Frosty Cosmic Mario Race. Ooh. So I guess we'll be racing sort of a shadow version of ourselves again. Wow, this looks so cool though. Pun both intended and not intended. Okay, so this is like a totally different level. Usually these are sort of derivatives of levels we've already explored, but not this time. There's the Cosmic Mario again. This thing is so spooky. Cause it's more mysterious than say Shadow Mario, which obviously was just, um, whoa, did it just knock Star Bits out of me or did I knock Star Bits out of it? What just happened there? Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. I gotta remember to ice skate. That was the part I forgot, I so jumped there. I so pressed the jump button. All right, well not the best start with this one. But yeah, with Shadow Mario in, in Sunshine, it was eventually revealed to be Bowser Jr. This is just like some weird space entity that I don't know if we ever learned the origin of. Okay, we're trying again. This time I'll grab a couple of the star bits. Let's see, this time I'm not, whoa! No, wait! Okay, I didn't get knocked off, that's good. Because when we jump, we really vault forward which is tricky. And then we're just jumping onto the other side, but I got a, a lead on you. That was good. Vaulting forward there. Oh man, oh man. I gotta keep the lead, gotta keep the lead. You got it, Mario. So maybe jumping a lot could also be a big help. Grab whatever star bits I, I can while we have a moment here to breathe. But this seems like it's gonna be it. I'm gonna vault forward. And then one more time, we, oh, we got it, we got it right there it is. 
Jeez, that was close. But we raced our cosmic self and were able to get a star for it. The Prankster Comets are always so much fun. They add a lot to the experience. But there we go, our Prankster Comet for today, Frosty Cosmic Barrier Race and Freeze Flame Galaxy. We're almost at 3,000 star bits too, which is quite the reward. I don't think we've run into the uh, star bit for this dome yet, the, the star bit Luma. Guess we'll see soon enough. But for now, with Freeze Flame Galaxy's Comet out of the way, we can move to the second star. And this one will be, right over here, Freeze Flame's Blistering Core. Ooh, okay, so this is gonna be more the flame side of Freeze Flame. I guess we're starting at the same spot though, but probably heading to a different destination. I don't see that penguin around at all though. Maybe on the other side, there are some star chips waiting for us, so I want those. And also a Goomba, there we go. <laughs> Got him pretty good. Ready, boom, see ya. Grab some of this, but I definitely wanna check on the other side. I wanna find our little penguin buddy if possible. Right now I'm just finding some mean Goombas. Definitely wanna do away with that, but whoa, okay. Tons of star bits to get from this. Oh no, oh no, didn't mean to go on this side. Got it. You know, let's not get squished by the jelly rocks. They will never not look like it. It's just like a big dollop of jelly in there to me. We just need this last one waiting for us here. So no penguin races this time. Ooh, okay, so we get some pool stars and a launch star. See, I need that, wow, hey, rude. This is not going my way right now at all. Mostly because the camera's not really helping me out. Where even am I? Am I inside of it? Oh no, that was a reflection. That was really confusing. Um, let's get a coin <laughs> before I risk losing a life from all that. The camera really wasn't showing me where I was trying to go. Right here, there we go. This looks like molten cheese at the moment. But I think it's a lot more dangerous than that is. Look at these guys, we got the, the fuzzy urchins. I guess they'll try to roll towards us, but I'm mostly focused on grabbing these star bits. Is there anything I can do about them? I don't think so. They just sort of roll around and cause us problems. There we go. I got a couple of star bits out of it, though. Now, we want to be really careful here to not get hit, because I feel like we're losing our health very easily, but I want to search around as much as possible. Like, what will this one lone box have for us as a coin? That does get us back up to full health, though, which is very useful. And then these two, got it. Everything's all wiggly though because it's just the sheer heat coming out of the magma below us. Come on, can I get it? Oh, please leave me alone. These guys are just bullies. There we go, okay. I wonder, I can set these aflame. He's not by myself, but there's the extra health mushroom. I'll break that open and grab this. Now we're up to six health. It looks like the game wants me to go up here for some reason. Oh no. But I don't know if this is where we're supposed to go. Or if this will just be bonus stuff. Okay, now, whoa, whoa, I actually, very surprised we made that jump. That was cool. There was definitely a lot over there, but I think that maybe for now. Oh yeah, we'll go back over here. This is like an entire side area, right? I don't know if we're heading the right way, but it's at least fun to check out. More of these urchins. Oh no. Watch it, please. Like, those two boxes open. There's gotta be something over here, right? Like, you see how the camera's sort of pointing over this way? Odd. Doesn't seem like there's much, though. Okay, back down here, then. Got some more easy starbits. We're already up to 80 of them. And unfortunately, these guys won't ever just roll off the side, it seems. Whoa! Oh, wait, no, one of them did? Huh, wonder what influenced that that time. Anyways, let's grab that coin. Oh, here we go. And that makes a fire flower for us. So there are fire flowers in this game. So far we've only seen the ice flower, but now we have a fire Mario. You transformed into fire Mario. Shake the controller or press Y to shoot fireballs. I would love to. So I don't think we got to throw ice balls, but we can throw fireballs, no problem. 
So with this, oh, I see what we gotta do. It's gonna light up that torch, which is going to open up that right there. Okay, so I might have to go pick up another one if I want to do this all in time, but I'll just do whatever damage I can muster with this fire Mario. Okay, turn Mario, there we go. So I have to go grab another one, but that was some good progress. This is a lot of fun. Now we can technically fight fire with fire, right? Okay, we're back to it. It is so weird though to have a timed power-up that is as classic as Fire Mario. In other games, you know, you pick up the Fire Flower, you have Fire Mario until you get hit. So if you don't get hit, you get to keep it forever. But here, not the case. You need to be able to make the most out of the time you're given. Which I, I guess they do that so that sections like these aren't as easy going, but I don't think it would have hurt too much, you know? If we just kept Fire Mario for as long as we needed it. That's just how the power-ups work in Mario Galaxy 1. I don't remember if they work this way in Galaxy 2, but I guess we'll have to see at some point. Anyways, I wanna launch this over there. I definitely wanna light these two up. Got it. Got it, I didn't get you. Awesome, I think that's everything around you that we can toast with the fireball. So I'll grab these remaining star bits, and I'll head up the big staircase. What's interesting is that I sort of jumped up before. I don't think I really even needed any of that. I could've just made the jump and gotten over here. But hey, we did it the way we were supposed to, and we got to check out the fire flower because of it. Anyways, if we can find another one soon, I really appreciate it because these guys are all over the place again. Coming up on 150 of these, and that will, there we go, give us another one up. Oh, and there's the fire flower, okay. Very cool, I'll just run over there super quick. Oh no, wait, wait. There's so many of them rolling through. I don't think I'll go through getting all of them this time but I'll just get whatever ones end up being in our way, which is still quite a few of them. Oh, they're like infinitely spawning too, so out of that little box, so I don't want to deal with that too much. But if I could just jump and launch, wait one more time, maybe? Darn, that's actually a tough thing to land from there. But I think that's what I have to do. So let's give it another try. Okay, and I don't know if this is like Mario 64 where we can take multiple hits from the lava, or if it's gonna be like other Mario games. Oh man, we did make it though. Ah, wait, <laughs> not good. If it's gonna be like other Mario games where one touch of the lava and you're out. But there we go, we got four of them. And that should raise this door, whatever this is. Okay, we can wall jump up to there. Don't mind if I do. Grab a couple of extra coins along the way so that we are back to our six points of health. That is very useful for right now. Now we're on the other side. Hmm. Whoa, so these sort of sink in the lava when you walk in them. Oh no, Wait, I wanted to go this way instead. And then just a little bit more, a little bit more. Got it. Probably could've just made the jump from the base part of the cylinder, but. Oh, and before we had the little ice guys, now we had the little lava guys. I don't wanna try hitting them though. I think that would just hurt us. It seems like fire's a little bit more dangerous to the touch to us than ice is. Get a coin from that, which I don't really need too much, but I'll grab Fire Mario once more. And I guess we'll just, yeah, I don't think hitting you with fire does too much. I guess it knocks you out long enough. Oh, and the fire will just bounce off the lava. Interesting. And I worked, okay, I didn't even see that it, it landed. And there's our power star waiting for us, so hopefully yeah, that bridge extends out and we can just hop onto there no problem. Definitely a lot more of a challenging level, a lot more at stake there. Every moment we could have fallen into the lava and gone toasted, but Mario made his way through. So we got a nice star for that one. So far, Free Swing Galaxy, a ton of fun. Yeah. Well, with that being said, we still have our third star waiting for us here. Yeah. We got a star, Freeze Flame's blistering core in Freeze Flame Galaxy. I'll get 10 more coins. And over 3,000 star bits. So, yeah, making some great progress with everything. But we're gonna hop right back into it. So, what else do we have waiting for us here at Free Swing Galaxy? I don't know if this one will have a mystery star, but we've yet to find it. So our third star here is going to be Hot and Cold Collide. So we've had a little bit of hot, a little bit of cold. Now they're coming together for a temperature catastrophe. Whoa, so lots of lava platforms, lots of frozen platforms, and this is definitely the one that we raced the Shadow Mario on. Now I understand. 
Gotcha. This is so cool looking though. I love it. Let's get the skating. And what's going on like a platform like this? Oh, that hurts. That, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was, I'm so confused. Huh. I was trying to jump on this platform, but I guess I just got toasted by that. Note taken, don't do that anymore. We'll just we'll just stay on the, the main path here. I don't see too many ways to get to the other side, at least from here, so if I break this, this will allow me to sort of get over. So maybe I thought I was trying to cheat it, but no, I was just trying to explore. Well, in the meantime, we can follow this little lava ball, and there's our launch chart ready and waiting for us. So we'll take that to who knows where. Oh wow. This is a different one entirely, I think. It was very peaceful here. I say that, but then there's some angry urchins after us. I'll try to steer clear of them. Oh, definitely want this. Any extra health I can grab is a warm, or I guess in this situation, cold welcome. Oh no, speaking of cold welcomes, this water is gonna hurt us because it's so frozen. So the tide is sort of rise, raising and lowering. So I wonder what that little sort of cork or whatever it is will do. Just have to wait for the water to lower. And then once I'm on there, let's give it a little spin. And that does lower this door. But I feel like there should be a fire flower somewhere to do something with those two torches, right? Where could that be? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. This might just be star bits, but we're gonna find out. Yep, just star bits. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Well, it might have something to do with that stuff over there, so. Wait for the water to lower once more and try to get over there. Got it. Oh no, whoa, watch it, watch it. Let's see what the deal is with this. So get some extra star bits. And then I'm slamming through all this stuff. It's just a one-up, okay. I thought I was gonna find a fire flower in that, but not quite. I don't see any other spots where there could, I don't know, be a fire flower, unless it's like maybe like the backside of one of these. So if not, I'll, I'll stop exploring around here. We'll, we'll get to something else, because I'm not finding too much. That'll be a big help. Oh, wait a minute, no, okay, <laughs> never mind. We're going, we're going. I'm so curious though, what were the, those two torches about? I mean, we do get this one here, so maybe if we brought that all the way back over. Cause you know, that could be our, uh, our mystery star, who knows? It looks like getting over there won't be so simple. Like we just had with the raising and lowering of the cold water, now we have the hot lava. Just gonna long jump across if I can. Makes it a little bit simpler. Oh no, let's line up our jump just right. Oh no, they are really trying to get me right now. And I guess we'll try to slam this thing. There's gonna be a bunch more star bits and another one up. I wanna get to this one as soon as possible. That was close, but that will open the door for us. Oh no, oh no, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Oh, what do I do, what do I do? Get over here quick. Oh man, if this could give me an extra coin or two, that'd be huge. There you go, it's one extra coin. So you know what, that's what I was supposed to. I didn't know if that was gonna be something extra. It looks like it's not going to be. Unless there's something cool up here. Oh, look at this, we do at least get some uh, extra star bits through your question block. And then back on the other side is an extra one up. Don't mind if I do. Got it. Okay, now I grab the fire flower and we go light up those two torches. So what I thought was gonna be something bonus is actually just, whoa, what you're supposed to, that was cool though. Oh, there's a question block up there too. Oh, and I could probably get rid of these guys, right? Oh, it's with the weird curve there. I gotta be careful though. If we get hit or get damaged, I don't think it'll be good for us, so. Oh no, I gotta go, I gotta go. Come on, come on. I gotta hit this one. No, I was way too late with all of it. Okay, let me go get it again. All right, I'm getting over there, I'm getting over there. Light this one up and then just walk right in front of that one. There we go, much better. And we'll just launch our way out of here as soon as possible. So we're back to these platforms, the ones we re Shadow Mario on. This might be a bit complicated, but I'll do whatever I can to keep up with it. So with Ice Mario, I might be able to, yeah, stay on the lava without it being too much of an issue. That's cool. So just like water, we can skate across us. Let's jump over to this side, a Goomba, 
to ignore, I suppose. There is another Ice Mario to get. Cool. Lots of Star Bits, too. Yep, we're up to 100 of them. I might try for this extra life, but I gotta be careful, because it's very easy just to vault right off the side. Ah, uh, be careful, Mario. And then right over here, this one we really need to make sure we grab before it's too late, because if not, we get torched by the lava. Okay, we're back to it. I grabbed all those Star Bits, so now it's just about moving as fast as we can, which jumping seems to help us go a little bit faster, but this is the same lineup as with Shadow Mario, so I should just be able to get it. There it is! That was really cool. I'm very impressed with this galaxy for just being super fun with its theming and stuff. But hey, we're back for now. That should be all the galaxy finished up for the time being, unless I can find that mystery star somewhere. It's gotta be in there, I would think, but 53 power stars so far. Okay, so we'll save our game and we'll see what pops up. Maybe there'll be more to do somewhere else, but if not, we could just wrap it up there. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, there is. So where is that mystery star waiting for us? It should tell us at least which one to choose. It will be, oh wow, star number one, the frozen peak of Baron Burr. So I'll look around this one a bit more and see if we can't find that secret star. So we're back here as Ice Mario on this part of the level. There's a few things I definitely miss, including right when we first find Ice Mario in, here, in, in the Freeze Flame Galaxy here, there is this. And what will this do for us? It looks like it gives us some extra star bits and whoa, it just sort of really launched me to the side there. That's not what I wanted. So let's try that again. But it does give me some extra health, which you know might be useful, but more than that, maybe it leads to the uh, extra stars. It's hard to tell from here, but come on, come on. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> no. Okay, well, it looks like it doesn't. I'll try to get the extra health later, but that's not as important as maybe exploring some of the other parts. Oh yeah, I wanted to get this now that I'm actually doing it correctly. So before I took sort of a shortcut up that wall over there, actually hard to get all the coins. Come on. I'd like to get as many as possible. We get a one up for it. Okay, so I won't be able to get every single one of them, but quite a lot of them. And then yeah, let's try, oh, I see. To get up that way, I will need another ice Mario. Come on, Mario, get up there. So let's give this another go. I wonder if I can maybe shortcut it by, ooh, doing that, that was good. And then maybe up here, we do have a one up. Oh, but there's a fling star. We got it, sort of, maybe, nope. Okay, try again. And then, ah, darn, not quite. I wonder if it's still possible. Whoa, so close, that actually might be. Oh, we did it! Wow, what a nice jump. So let's see, will this fling star get us to a secret? It looks like it will. And this is where we have the fire flower waiting for us. So really cool stuff. I will grab this one because the Baron Burr is right over there. So we got these snowmen with all these star bits on them. We could just launch that away, no problem. I'll have to do that here. Oh no, I know that you're trying to get me. Not too interested, sorry. But I could just get up this way. Fire flower is about to run out, so I need to be quick about this. No, I can't believe they pushed me off there. Oh no, and it's not letting me spin. Why not? That was weird. Anyways, we'll try it again. That was, that was definitely silly, but luckily we just start right back here, so I can just get right back to it. So this time, I know what I need to focus on and what I don't need to focus on as much. I can like grab these star bits, but we'll mostly focus on just getting rid of that. And then getting over here as soon as I can. I'm not really super worried about the uh, the bat. Got it, got it. And then we get rid of this one. Oh no, they're freezing me. Come on, leave me alone, leave me alone. There we go, see ya. And now we've made it somewhere. We've got the jelly rocks here. And I'll stay near the uh, fire flower for now. I wanna see if we can maybe bust that rock with the fire. That'd be cool, right? I don't think that'll work, but I certainly wanna try. When another one pops up here in just a second? I don't think so. But I could, at the least, get that out of the way. I guess if I land down this way, I can at least get another one up. Bit of a risky jump for it, but was I supposed to really get all the way over here with the fire flower? This we'll see in just a moment. This thing takes a while to pop back up. There it goes. Oh no, there's another fire flower waiting for us. But two of these guys, Try to take me down. 
Oh man, got it. And I'll deal with you two as soon as possible then. <laughs> Much better. Now that these are rolling towards me though, I still can't hit them. No, no! <laughs> oh my goodness, that is not what I wanna do. Okay, this time I'll be way careful, way more careful. There we go. We got one more sim and I got a knockout here. We got it. And then I'll make yet another fling star for us. We're going farther and farther up this. Now I can't attack you if I'm not fired up. It'll just end up freezing me, I'm pretty certain. Oh man. Oh, please don't fall, please don't fall. We're fine, this thing is chasing me down though, something fierce. Oh, I see what I have to do here. I need to, if the camera will let me line it up a little bit, you gotta do a little bit of wall jumping and we get up there, no problem, no, okay, there's some problems, there's some problems. Okay, I got it, don't walk off the side, but finally, at the very summit of the mountain is our mystery star. Oh man, that was a lot of hard work. That might be one of the more challenging stars out of the entire set. But hey, I'm glad we got it. So that was our last star of Freeze Flame Galaxy, conquering the summit in Freeze Flame Galaxy. Very nice. Oh, of course, we got our score updated, extra star bits rolling in. And as far as I understand, that's everything I wanted to do. Maybe some extra stars have popped up here and there. We'll take a quick look if there's maybe any extra comments or anything. Because this one, um, Dusty Dune Galaxy and whatever this mystery Bowser one is, we'll tackle those in the same episode next time. But for right now, is there anything else around here in the Comet Observatory we might be able to do? It'd be nice if there was like a letter or something, maybe another Luigi star. But I guess I'll have to look around to find out. So it looks like Mount Toad does have some mail for us. What will this be? Is it gonna be, okay, from Luigi, awesome. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am, help me. So I'm pretty sure that's from Battle Rock Galaxy. Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again, let me give you this picture so you won't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press plus to access the pause screen, then use the letter icon to check the picture. Okay, we'll do that in just a moment. It doesn't look like there's anything new waiting for us anywhere, so I guess we are good to check that out. That was in Battle Rock Galaxy, which I'm pretty sure is in the Fountain Dome. So we'll just run over there really quickly and see for ourselves. Will we be able to save Luigi in Battle Rock Galaxy? Right now that I wanna launch over and into here. I don't know which star it'll end up being. I don't remember if it told us or not, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. But it should be around, or maybe was it, no, it was definitely Battle Rock. You can see the green question mark right here. Almost doubted myself for a moment thinking it might have been Space Junk Galaxy, but we're fine. So for this one, it is in the very first one, Battle Rock Barrage. And since we've seen this, I, I don't mind skipping it too much. We can skip all this fanciness, but we will still need to get all the way over there. So let's work towards that. Oh no, whoa, where am I going? <laughs> right over here. It's, it's sort of like a nice little down memory lane with these. Obviously, we've gained a lot of Mario skills since we've last played these levels, so it makes it much easier to get through them. That should make some nice and easy full stars for us, and indeed it does. So I just launch into that one, get over here, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be right around the end of the level, and we have to bust something open to save him. But in the meantime, I'm not going to worry too much about the actual enemies around here. You gotta spin this down, and then it gets moving. But if I can get some easy star bits, I would happily grab those. We have that onslaught of cannon attacks coming in. Which if we dodge him no problem before, I'd imagine it wouldn't be too much of an issue here. It'd be cool if these Luigi stars made the levels more difficult somehow. Like right now, you know, it's, it's still sort of the same level same difficulties, but we just have to focus on looking for a different thing. It would be fun if like, maybe it made the cannon shoot out more cannonballs or something crazy like that. But for this one, not so much. Dodge out, no problem. Some more starbits for us. We only need a couple more and we get uh, an extra life. There we go. Much better. Okay, almost there, guys. Watch out. Okay. Oh no, I'm getting a little turned around. Oh no! That's not what I wanted. Please don't fall off Mario. That was close. Right now my controls are like flipped. 
Left is right and right is left, and I'm just trying to get to a, an even spot. There we go. So here's where the star is, but we're interested in these coins and then saving Luigi, but Luigi's not at the star. Where is he? He's on the other side? I'm gonna help you, buddy, don't worry. So to get to that, I think we just need to get one of the cannons to fire a bullet bill at us. Maybe it'd be easier to flip over now. Oh man, come on, please, 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 controls. Ah, <laughs> it's so difficult when it comes to flipping over. Okay, this one's still trying to chase me, sort of. Okay, okay, this is actually perfect. It's actually perfect. This'll work just fine. No, it won't. <laughs> it was close, though. It was definitely close. So I'll try to get another one to come over. I don't know if they'll notice me from here, but ah, oh, they will. I'll just hit the rim of it, unfortunately. So I think we need to get their attention from up here while we're flipping over to the other side or something, please. Oh my goodness, the controls and the camera get so wonky when you do that. It just, it's so hard to make it work. I'm gonna try again. This is where the real challenge for this level comes in. Okay, we're fine. There are two bullet bills, and of course they're gonna bonk into each other. Come on. Okay, it's right on my trail, it's right on my trail. Which means if we could just get it a little bit closer, there it is. Definitely jumping can sort of reorient it a little higher up. Blah, I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. I mean, I, I came as soon as I got the letter. Yeah, yeah, you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. <laughs> all right, all you Luigi. Oh, this one's another green star. Wasn't that, was the first one that we got from Luigi a green star? Why can't I remember? I'm pretty sure that was just a normal power star. The power star is mine. All right, it's all yours, buddy. Don't worry about it. Awesome. See, at the least, that's another green star for us, too. We still don't entirely know what these are going to be up to, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Luigi under the saucer in Battle Rock Galaxy. Cool. A little bit more star bits for us, and we can save our game with that. Let me go check out the green Lumas. Maybe they'll give us a bit more information now that we have found another one. Be able to swap all the way over like this. And I think it was right down here. Sort of like a little courtyard area. Yeah. Oh, there is a second one. So I'll talk to you now. The trial galaxies are galaxies on the very edges of the universe. They are worlds that defy all sense, imagination, and limitations. Trial galaxies. We are the guardians of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of one other like us. Huh. So maybe some very difficult areas up ahead if we find more green stars. That sounds like it could be fun, but if we see this right here, the little list of things, we'll just talk to you, we'll just to see the map. And we go to the terrace, or the list, this is what I need. You can see, for Battle Rock Galaxy, we got that one green star. But that Good Egg Galaxy one was not a green star. So yeah, I was right, it wasn't a green star before, but that means we need to find one more somewhere. They seem to be pretty well hidden, so we'll have to keep searching levels as thoroughly as possible. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Galaxy for the Super Mario 3D All-Star Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.